History matters. The Irish politician Edmund Burke, who lived from 1729 to 1797, once said, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. And King David um, said, as for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Um, and that was in Psalm 16:3. Those uh, Christian, Christian history is especially important. After all, it's our family history, um, and Christian biographies are a great way for our kids to learn the story of the Christian faith. They are an excellent way to provide perspective for our kids on theology, the church, and most of all, God's sovereign hand in history. Um, now more than ever, it's important for our kids to know and understand history and the Bible. Um, I'm Danica Cooley, and I'm especially excited to tell you about this new set of Who, What, Why Christian History books um, from Christian Focus, written by me, and um, they're on the Bible. So um, not only is Christian history important, scripture is vital for the Christian. Um, and I loved writing these because they are the story um, that God has told us. Um, and it's from God's word that we get our doctrine and our theology. Um, and so I think these books are especially important. Um, okay, so here's why Christian history matters for our kids. God is the sovereign ruler of all things. And it's important for our kids to see his hand in the history of nations and the lives of um, peasants and kings. So Christian history is our family history. So is the Old Testament. Um, our kids get to see how people who love Jesus follow him. Uh, understanding history can help our kids learn historic and biblical theology. They learn what the Bible says. Um, and what it means for us as we walk out our faith. Um, they're also going to see this study of scripture has taken important turns that have changed the church. And in this set of books, they'll come to understand better um, the difference between the old and the new covenant and how God pointed to Jesus through the Old Testament. Um, so reading Christian biographies and history, um, can be a wonderful way for kids to think outside their own time and culture. God's church spans centuries and includes people from every nation. And Christian biographies help kids consider their own faith, their walk with Jesus, and the impact that their witness is going to have one day on others and on history. Um, this in the Old Testament too, this is a very comprehensive way of being able to take a narrative that's spread over chapters and books and be able to make it um, a, a compacted story that kids will understand and be able to um, just really engage with. So your elementary um, age kids need middle grade resources that are fun a little bit sassy and then teach valuable lessons. So the Who, What, Why series is the perfect resource to teach your kids about history and the Bible um, while teaching them biblical truths that apply to their lives today. Um, so now that I've told you about the Who, What, Why series, I'm gonna tell you about this newest set. Um, it's from the Old Testament and it's gonna cover the Exodus period. Um, so the Old Testament in the Bible covers um, important history from creation through the um, prophets. God called the people unto himself. He taught them, um, and now us, who he is um, and how to worship him. And he helped us understand why we need a savior. Um, teach your, you can teach your kids about the Old Testament with this fun narrative and important biblical truth um, from the Who, What, Why series, from Christian Focus Publications, um, written by me, Danica Cooley. So the first book in this new set is uh, Who Was Moses? So um, from a baby born in slavery to a prince 
to an outlaw, to the leader of God's people, Moses' story is an amazing one. Um, I'm going to draw you into the twists and turns of Moses' life, showing how this flawed man was able to face God, um, know God face to face. So um, from page nine, it was into this na nation within a nation that a baby was born. This wasn't just any baby. And he didn't grow up to be just any boy. No, this baby was born into the tribe of Levi, one of the sons of Jacob, which would become the tribe of God's priests. One day, this special child named Moses would know God face to face. Okay, the second book in this set um, of the Exodus is What Was the Tabernacle? Although God had rescued his people out of slavery in Egypt, they rebelled against him and worshiped other gods. So God gave Moses rules to teach his people how to love God and each other. God also gave Moses instructions for how to build a movable temple for the Lord, the tabernacle. This tent provided a way for the Israelites to serve and worship God his way in reverence and awe. But the tabernacle was also full of symbols that pointed to the coming of Jesus uh, when God became a man and lived amongst his people. So from page seven, in the beginning, before there were lakes with fish, mountains with trees, or deserts full of sand, there was God, our God, Yahweh, whose name means I am who I am has always been. Yahweh is, Yahweh always will be. And then the third book, uh, why did the Exodus happen? Uh, God's people had been in slavery in Egypt for hundreds of years, but God had promised their ancestors that the people of Israel would have their own land someday. God used Mo a shepherd, Moses, and his brother Aaron to rescue a nation of slaves from the grips of the world's most powerful kingdom. I'm going to invite your kids to know the God who never breaks his promises, who has power over all things, and who rescues his people. Um, so from page 17 of Why Did the Exodus Happen? In this world, there are a great many things to know. We can learn about algebra, art, biology, and even rocket science. But no library of knowledge in this world is more important than knowing the one true God. So I'm really excited about this set. It's going to help your kids really understand how God pointed to the coming of Jesus in the Old Testament and who God is and how he calls us to worship him. Okay, so there are also gonna be study resources to help your kids learn the who, what, and why of Christian history. So in addition to crafts, I'm gonna have lap books for you um, that correspond with each book. So um, the time of the Exodus was an important and impactful time in the history of scripture and the world when God taught us so much about who he is and how we're to worship him. The Who, What, Why series from Christian Focus Publications uh, will help your kids learn about Moses, the tabernacle, and the Exodus in a fun way. And the Exodus lap books um, make this series a fun, hands-on study for your children. Um, so through the three free lap books that go with the books, um, you and your child are going to study the impact of Moses the tabernacle, and the exodus in the Old Testament. Um, the Old Testament world, your child is going to learn what it was like to live during the time of the exodus. Um, the people involved in each Old Testament story, the exodus vocabulary, um, the geography of the exodus, what we think it may have been, um, and then um, theology. So they're going to go through um, parts of, of Hebrews and parts of John. And um, then, of course, uh, 
the places in the Bible where Moses is mentioned, which there are many. So um, that's going to be an important way for your kids to study the Bible. Okay, so you can find the books anywhere books are sold um, or at thinkingkidspress.com. Um, Christian Focus Publications also has them for sale. Okay, I'm excited um, for this new set in the Who, What, Why series. Um, I would be so blessed if you'd share it with others. Thanks.